And it is the next phase in the fight against COVID infection and spread. Beginning tomorrow, ages 16 and up will be eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine in the state of Texas, regardless of their health status or job. Our Caroline Vandegrift tonight looks into how much of that vaccine is coming to North Texas this week and how quickly people like you can expect to get their first shot. Monday marks a turning point in COVID-19 vaccination efforts in Texas. It should be a very exciting day for the entire population um, because that means everybody who wants one can go get in the line and get one. But even though all adults will be eligible for the shot, many people will have to keep waiting since the vaccine is still in relatively short supply. But that's one of the things we're facing. And this is a particular consideration with this particular vaccine, not only because of the urgency, not only because of the magnitude of COVID, but also because it's a brand new vaccine. More than a million first doses of the vaccine are on their way to county hubs, hospitals, and pharmacies across the state right now. That's only about 100,000 more than they received last week. And you're still talking about millions and millions and millions of people. So it's still going to take a little bit to get through. But some county leaders say the wait shouldn't be as long as it's been. The list still is relatively short. And so people, this is not a months and months away to get a vaccine from Denton County Public Health. It's just a matter of weeks. People are still encouraged to register for the vaccine with as many providers they're willing to drive to, especially as it becomes easier to get the shot at local pharmacies. They know the needs of their local population. So local pharmacies are absolutely critical to expanding access to the COVID vaccine. As of last week, the state has administered 10 million doses of the vaccine. The Department of State Health Services says those efforts have helped drive down COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations to their lowest level since October. The state expanded eligibility in the hopes of keeping that momentum going. Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.